Hello, and welcome to Real Illusion Hints and Tips. Quick guide to quick cuts and camera shake for iClone. This allows users to create custom camera effects using the timeline editor inside of iClone. The camera shake method gives the director the ability to create organic camera movement simulations through the creative use of keyframe editing, such as a camera shaking due to a heavy object being dropped, or a very large character walking or running. Also, showing a method in which the viewers can be fooled into thinking a camera change has happened, when in fact a quick cut has taken place. The same camera has only changed positions completely, too fast for the eye to see. Again, using the timeline and keyframes to create this effect, these methods are achieved in 12 easy to follow steps. In step number one, open iClone and hide your character by using hotkey control F7. This opens the character selection panel. Simply click temporarily hide character and close. You're now ready to insert a live prop. Do so by going to scene, props, template or custom, wherever you may have it saved. Double click on your live prop. And now you're ready to move on to step number two. In step number two, go to camera, modify, Select your millimeter, 35 will work for this case, and be sure that animated camera and edit key is turned on. You then will want to use rotate, pan, and zoom to position your character. You're now ready to move on to step number three. In step number three, select props, modify and then click on the timeline. This opens the timeline to edit the motions and position of your character or live prop. You're now ready to move on to step number four. In step number four, right click in the gray field in between the keyframe and the value fields. Take notice of your live props animation clips that appear. Choose an animation by clicking on it. This will place a clip on the timeline represented by a light blue rectangle. You're now ready to move on to step number five. In step number five, multiply the clip by hovering over the right edge of the clip until the cursor changes into the directional arrows. Then simply click and drag to the desired duration. If you need to extend your workspace, you can do so by zooming out using the zoom out button or using the black bar. You're now ready to move on to step number six. Play back by either tapping spacebar or using the play pause button to determine exactly where your character is going to need camera shake added in to the motion effect. You can also use the play pause button to do the exact same thing. You're now ready to move on to step number seven. In step number seven, go to your camera, modify, timeline, and note that your viewport is now your active camera. Wherever and whenever you place it, iClone will automatically set a new keyframe. Set a four keyframe sequence where you wish to insert a camera shake by placing a keyframe on the frame where the motion should begin. Do this by activating your camera and then clicking the add key button. Then move ahead three to four frames in space and time and add a new keyframe 
by clicking the pan tool, moving slightly down and to the right, ahead two keyframes, up and to the left, ahead two more keyframes, and down and to the right once again. You're now ready to move on to step number eight. In step number eight, repeat step number seven at least three times to create a more natural looking effect. Then click and drag a field over the custom sets and use hotkey control C, which is copy, and then control V, which is paste, to properly place them on the timeline to ensure that the shake effect is time right. If you have a looping motion, this is very easy to set up. copy, and then paste. Which should give you a looping and very organic camera shake effect. You're now ready to move on to step number nine. In step number nine, after placing all of your custom camera shake frames, you are now ready to add another motion to the sequence and then add a quick cut. To add another motion, right click inside the gray field once again, and then choose another animation. You then want to drag the animation to where you will likely place your cl or quick cut in the end. As you can see, our monster here has a very large staff or club and right there he's basically got it down low and at the beginning of our new animation clip it's also going to be down low and we do have some camera popping going on here and some animation popping so we're easily going to fix that with a quick cut. You're now ready to move on to step number 10. In step number 10, create a, create a quick cut by placing two keyframes directly beside each other. The first representing where that shot will end and the second representing the beginning of the next shot or angle. Go to your camera timeline, which you should already have activated. Zoom in. And choose the frame directly before you want the cut to take place. Activate your camera. And choose Add Key. You're now ready to move on to step number 11. In step number 11, move ahead one frame in time, then reposition the camera using the move or zoom tools as well as rotate to where you would like the next shot to begin. This will place a keyframe automatically and create your quick cut. You're now ready to move on to step number 12. Move ahead in your timeline to the end. And place a new key 
to create movement between your last cut and the end of the project. Or copy the last keyframe to maintain the position to be sure and maintain a close-up if that's the shot you're trying to achieve. By moving the camera, as you can see, we've created movement. Be sure to save your new camera by going to Custom and then Add. To give you a better example of exactly how these techniques can be used together to create some pretty dramatic effects using live props or characters, I'll give you an idea of how I have used them to create this method. And very simple uh, aesthetics of filmmaking and photography but when used together uh, they create uh, pretty good looking scenes and camera animation. As you can see we have our live prop here with some animated uh, props as well as a particle system and a background which is animated. This is a very simple scene to set up and when a few different techniques are applied you can really get a nice visual effect uh, with multiple cameras in the scene. This has been Quick Guide to Camera Shake and Quick Cuts. If you have any further questions, please contact Real Illusion Technical Support and please visit www.realillusion.com.